Hey guys, Jordas95 here, and today we're looking at another Transformers Cyberverse review. Today we're looking at the Transformers Cyberverse Warrior Class Megatron. Now, this thing I was looking for him that was from Second Wave from the line that was made by Hasbro in 2018. Now, let's take a look at the package. <coughs> That looks nice looking. The very artwork of the front of the shows. Down below the package is the actual gimmick. It says Fusion Maze. So, set the console. I completely forgot. I didn't show you on the place. On the oh! oh! Sorry about that. On the other side, it shows a little action tackers. It says, shows a little picture of the Satcoms, bad guys. See says Starscream and the newcomer, Shadow Strikers. The back of the box, there was no rip, unfortunately. This says nice. It says, Megatron's Tyrannical Leaders. It says a little Astrophysical gimmick. It says, nice death. Also, I completely forgot. I didn't show you. Oh, this. Up. This one has 8 step. Megatron has 9 step. Shows other figures available. <coughs> There's Windway, Accessor, which I don't care about who is he, and there's Optus Ring. I did review it, but this thing is terrible. I guess it's probably a disappointment. So, how is this disappointment? So, let's see how to get something to help. Let's get open stuff. Let's take a look. Sheet. And let's <clears throat> and here is Megatron out of the package. <clears throat> this looks pretty, looks accurate, it's pretty close. It looks unlike the Prime. I'll show you a little size comparison. Here is the next two Ultra Prime figures. And they did not actually bigger. <coughs> I didn't even think, what's that noise? It was that trombone music. Sorry about that. Now let's take a look at the little head sculpt. He looks pretty, looks neat, but I kind of wish his face paint should be a silver or white, whatever, because we saw it in the show. Now, quick spoiler about him. He was actually paired season one. He also made in Bolomi's memory flashback, and he did actually an episode called Megatron is my hero, where the Bolomi find out was really a mistake. He gets tore his voice box by Megatron. <coughs> Later on, he does the last few years episode of Nakam, and that's why it. He was never seen again, but there's no season finale one. But he was originally supposed to be main villain, but instead we got Shockwave instead. So I was kind of disappointed. I was kind of worried. I was wondering what if we'll see Megatron. Hopefully, we'll see Megatron will return season two, possibly next year. I do like how it's a handsome. It's got a little set print. Which, oh, I almost forgot. I didn't show you. He has an autobot symbol on his arms. Now, for Sudbury, he does not come with the weapons. He does have shooting cannon, but you can't take the remove. I like this detail his hands. Those details. His legs is oh. I kinda wish for fur was black. So we'll back his buttons. Now articulation for Opti Megatron is unlike Mega Optimus um, articulation for Megatron unlike Optimus. However, this one his head did not turn. You can't turn his head. His arms goes up and down, goes in and out that much. Has a weird hinge. He does bend at the elbow, hinge. There's no wrist articulation, and there is. He does not have way. No waist articulation. His other arm, he actually has his arm swivel. Looks like his arms kind of ratchet those. Which I'll get in that second about actual future gimmicks. And yeah. Spring loaded. 
No way search equation is slag is forwards and back. Goes in and out that much. No die so unfortunately. It has a bend in the knee. It has a ratchet joint. And <clears throat> honestly, that's about it. His action feature gimmick is trigger. You pull it and he has a little spring load of this one. He has a spring loaded the Endotrons. Unlike Optimus Prime, this one has a little rope. It's kind of cool, but there's one problem. He, he also has pull a trigger and That's a cool action feature gimmicks. Not only is complaining his missing details and he's a little bit size ones. There was also the the ultimate class one looks much more better. He looks kinda too big ones. Now I've transformed to Optimus Trine. Oh I'm sorry, Megatron. Not Optimus Trine, but Megatron. It does have little Bennett. First of all, let's pull and uh he just falls off a piece. So put a piece together. Now, I can't feel it. supposed to display it. Peg holes. Now, you suppose trying to figure out. Suppose <sighs> huh. Let's go for the student. Let's say show it again. I'm going to show the structure. Oh. I'm going to show the structure. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to get. Okay, I'm trying to analyze. Wait, hold on. Now... Now, I can't figure out how am I supposed to transform to robot mode. Okay. Now... <clears throat> Okay, you supposedly... Come 
I can't think of how I'm supposed to... I'm gonna leave it here. So here's the thing in front of this take mode. I made a mistake. This is gonna be the stupidest transmission I've ever seen. That's pretty much useless. Now, this is probably the worst person I've seen. Yes. So that is the negative one that's on this. So yeah. In conclusion, the Megatron figure is a horrible. Megatron, the world class, it's a horrible figure. I can't recommend this is. I can't recommend this here. This is probably the most disappointment. Yes. I wish I had a head swivel, but apparently he does not have. I'll give this Megatron world class 1 out of 10. Which, or I'll say 3 out of 10, which is terrible. The road mode is fine, but the gimmick's alright, but the transformation's stupid. Oh my god, I can't figure out how am I supposed to do. Even the structure is confused. Even the structure meal is really confused. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one. But like I said, don't buy this one. It might as well buy the ultimate class, looks a lot better. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one, so thanks for watching. Bye.